In this video, we're gonna talk about angle pairs and perpendicular lines. The angle pairs that we're going to talk about are the complementary angles, supplementary angles, linear pair, vertical angles, and of course the perpendicular line. Ito yun, das natin yan. Let's start with the first one, complementary angles. Let's start by reading the definition. Two angles whose measure sum up to 90 degree are called complementary angles. Each angle is called a complement of the other. Now we have here an example, angle AOD and angle DOB. Now their measure, the measure of angle AOD, ito yun, AOD, plus the measure of angle DOB, DOB, is equal to, guess what, 90 degrees. Dahil si AOD ay 30 degree, si DOB ay 60 degree. At one thing that we can notice about this given example is they are adjacent to each other. Angle AOD and DOB has a common side which is ito yung side or yung segment OD. Meron silang common side, magkatabi silang angle, kaya tinatawag silang adjacent angle, ayun yun. Pero yung complementary angle, another thing, is they doesn't have to be adjacent to each other. Like this one, we have angle here, let's say, let's name it angle 1 and this is angle 2. Now, angle 1 plus angle 2, their measure is 90 degree. Tama, kasi 50 plus 40 is 90. Measure ni angle 1 plus measure ni angle 2 is equal kay 90 degree. They are complementary angle. Even though they are not adjacent like the first example. So, mahalaga maalala yun. Hindi nila kailangan maging adjacent. And last, let's try this. So, we have 30 degree here. And hanapin sana natin to kaso nasagotan ko na. 60 degree. So, kung, kung sila ay complementary angle at 30 degree itong isa, ano yung angle dapat nito para magi silang complementary? Ano yung required measure of angle nitong sumunod na angle? E di 60. Kasi 60 plus 30 is 90. So, ganun lang. Next, let's talk about the supplementary angles. Two angles whose measure sum up to 180 degree are called supplementary angles. Each angle is called a supplement of the other. Now, given this example, we have, uh, let's name it angle A and this is angle B. Now, angle A plus angle B, as you can see, angle A is 120 degree, angle B is 60 degree, and when we sum this up, this will be equal to 180 degree. So, measure of angle A plus measure of angle B is equal to 180 degree. At ayun yung requirement ni supplementary angle. So, si, measure, si angle A and angle B are supplementary angles. Why? Because their sum is 180 degree. And angle A, ang tawag sa kanila ay supplement of the other. So, si angle A is supplement of angle B. Angle B is supplement ng angle A. Now, just like the complementary angle, they doesn't also have to be adjacent to each other. Like this one, we have 45 degree here and 135 degree on the other. When we add them or get their sum, that will be equal to 180 degree. So, this angle here, angles here, regardless of their are adjacent or not they still uh, supplementary supplementary or supplement to each other bakit? kasi 135 plus 45 is 180 degree at ayun ang requirements ni supplementary angle kailangan ng sum nyo is 180 degree so let's try again another little exercise find the measure of angle X now dito makikita natin na si angle C OB at si BOA are um, supplementary angle. Yes. So, ano si measure? Ano yung measure ng angle X kung 38 degree na to? Ano yung 
Ano yung dapat measure ni angle X? So, ganito isolve yan. X plus 38 is equal to ilan dapat? 180 degree. O, 180 muna. Tsaka rin degree pa rin. Hindi nakakalito. Subtract tayo both side ng negative 38. Ay, ng minus 38. So, minus 38 dito. Minus 38 din dito. So, mag mawawala na itong 38. Magkin na lang x equals 180 minus 38. And 180 minus 38 is equal to 143. 42. Sorry. So, ibig sabihin, yung angle x dapat is 142. To make it true na sila ay supplementary to each other or supplement to each other. Next is si linear pair. Meron siyang kamuka. Oo. Si supplementary angles. ba? Diba? So, ano pinagkaiba nila? Basahin man natin. Two angles form a linear pair if they are adjacent. Kailangan daw adjacent. And their non-common side are opposite ray. So, as you can see here, the co they have a common side. Ito yung adjacent Kaya sila adjacent angle dahil common side nila is side BO. At yung kanilang non-common side, non-common side are opposite ray. Si AC, si AOC. So sila ay opposite ray. At sila ay linear angle. Pag sinubukan natin sila ng sukatin, ang angle ng isang linear angle ay 180 degree. So ibig sabihin, Kagaya ni supplementary angle, ang sum din niya ay 180 degree. Pero anong pinagkaiba nila? Si linear pair, kailangan, ang requirement niya, sila ay adjacent and supplementary. Kailangan meron silang common side. Kailangan opposite ray yung non-common side niya. Ganon si linear pair. Si, si supplementary angle naman, basta 180 yung sum niyo. Kahit magkalayo kayo. Okay lang. Kahit wala kayong common side, okay lang. Supplementary angles. So, ganon. Pag, pag linear pair, kailangan niya adjacent kayo. Si supplementary, adjacent ka man o hindi. Basta 180 ang inyong sum, supplementary kayo. Next, vertical angles. Vertical angles are the non-adjacent angles form when two lines intersect. So, pag meron tayong line dito na nag-intersect, let's name it line L and line M. So, si line L and M nag-intersect, nagtama sila dito sa point na to, ang mabubuo sa kanilang angle, yung non-adjacent angle sa kanila o yung magkabaliktaran, ang tawag sa kanila ay vertical angle. So, etong angle na to, 1, 2, 3, 4. Angle 1 and angle 3, are vertical angles angle 2 and angle 4 are ver vertical angles anong mapapansin nyo? si angle 1, 75 degree angle 3, 75 degree equal sila ganun din si angle 2 at si angle 4 pareso 105 dahil meron tayong vertical angle theorem na nagsasabi na if two angles are vertical angles they are congruent congruent sila kailan ba naging congruent ang angle? If and only if their measure is equal. Now, let's try to apply the vertical angle theorem in this little exercise. Uh, binigyan tayo ng 40 degree. So, alam natin, si etong angle na to ay vertical kay angle B. At dahil sila ay vertical, sila rin ay congruent. At dahil sila ay congruent, ang measure nila ay equal. Kung 40 to, si angle B ay 40 din. Nagay natin dito, 40 degree. Ngayon, ito ay linear pair. Linear pair to. So, ibig sabihin, ang measure nila ay 180 degree. ba? Diba? Subukan nyo sa protractor, 180 degree yan. So, 180 dapat ang, totals, ang total nila kapag inad natin. Meron ka ng 40. Ilan na lang ang kulang? 140. Degrees, kasi 140 plus 40 is 180 At si angle A ay vertical kay angle C Meaning, kung anong measure ni angle A Measure din ni angle C 140 rin to 140, 140 Next Or last natin Perpendicular lines Two lines are perpendicular If and only if They intersect and form 
a right angle. So, yung two lines natin is perpendicular if and only if nag-intersect sila and they form a 90 degree angle. And since kapag nag-intersect ang dalawang line, nakakabuo tayo ng vertical angles, kaya kung 90 to, magiging 90 rin to. At pag nag-intersect ang dalawang line, makakabuo rin tayo ng linear pair. Kung 90 to, kailangan 90 rin to kasi ang equal nila o ang sum nila is 180 degree. So kapag per perpendicular lines, ang nag ang pag meron tayong perpendicular lines, given na na 90 lahat ng measure nun. And that's basically it. That's basically all about the all about the angle pairs or and perpendicular lines. In the next video, we will answer two exercises. So, but for in this video, that's all. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Bye.